Welcome okay. back. Welcome back. Kane. Not Kane. Sorry, Finn. Yes. You paid Christian. Yep, and I, like, don't really know what to do with myself because I don't have my sword. So um, I, like, walk outside. <laughs> when you step outside, you hear a bit of a raucous coming from the tavern that's right there. And I will, like, cautiously walk to it because I don't want to go in there without my sword. <laughs> so... Well, that's fair. I literally don't want to leave that shop. You don't have to leave the shop. So I'm going to stand right outside. You stand right outside? And literally. And look around? Look yeah, I don't know. This looks super fucking intimidating. No, I just, like, don't know what to do with my hands. You watch Krishna's <laughs> rippling corded muscles as he hammers <laughs> steel. <Yeah. laughs> okay. Um, as you're standing outside... I... I might sit down or I'll just stand there. I'm not going to lean up against the wall or anything. But you, I mean, whatever. Yeah. I don't know. As as as, as you're standing outside, mm -hmm. um, you see a smattering of people walking. Yep. Down the street. All kinds. Um, some people walking in and out of other shops. Uh, you see, kind of off in the distance, uh, the very colorful and well lit. Uh, storefront of Sven's coffee shop mm -hmm. where we sell everything but coffee um, and you know that there's a Sven's coffee shop basically everywhere, everywhere. yeah um, I probably got my sword from there and there is some there are some people that suspect that it's the same shop just that's my thought just it's like extra dimensionally in connected <laughs> uh, but nobody's been able to prove it do they uh, all look identical magically. inside? Yeah. Do they have the same like weird. construct working or a person it's, working? Well, no. There, there are different people working. At them, okay. But, it's the uh, same shop. It's this. It's weird. <laughs> yeah. It's like the same shop. Super strange. Um. It's, it's uncanny. Wherever it fits, even if it's barely a little shack, you walk in. It's the yeah. same exact store. Um. As as you're standing there, though, you see a. Um, what's called a gorgon, which is I know what that is a uh, very, fucking... very absurdly attractive lady with snake hair. Yes, um, she is. You being um, kind of noticeable, kind of sheltered. Yeah, uh, well, not actually oh, noticeable. Oh, but she, like, I'm sheltered. Yeah, you, you've maybe seen. One or two Gorgons. Oh, say their whole life. my character probably doesn't really understand um, anything about them. No, uh, you know I, that they're I, not evil necessarily. I I say I know him because I read the text, but yeah. uh, no, he doesn't really trust anyone. But he knows that he won't get killed in a city if he doesn't start anything. Yeah, don't start a scene and don't get a scene. Yeah. Um, she has a. The, uh, the snake heads have a rainbow collage of scales. Uh, she wears impractically exposing fine leather armor that accentuates her curviness. Yeah, like the sexy uh, armor. Yeah. <clears throat> and she has, she carries a dagger, a short sword, and a short bow. All very obviously of uh, excellent to make and likely magical. Uh, she's carrying. A uh, make a little stack of, of papers, mm -hmm. like parchment sheets, um, and you see her walk into the tavern, where she goes up to like the bulletin board mm -hmm. that are basically like quest here. T -t -t yep, that's know. the work. Uh, and she kind of Kane uh, and Crowley will see her come in and nail this parchment, like one of these parchments, to the to the bulletin board. And then leave and go toward other taverns as well. Um, Would, like, I doubt I can read well at all, if I can. You, with an, with an intelligence of six, you yeah. can't read. Yeah, I didn't think so. So, <laughs> no. I don't like paper, I don't like books. She puts a piece of paper up and like, it's fire if I need it, but I don't need to a fire right now. That's, that's it. That's well, the only. Well, you thought. don't see her put it up in the okay. tavern because you're not in the tavern. Okay. You just see her like walking by. Yep. Um, I might have stared, but 
uh, try not to look too awkward. Yeah. Pain, because you work directly for the guild, uh, you would know who she is. Uh, her name is Laura Noah Winmyar. Uh, she is the front woman of the Adventurers Guild in Fissian. Always hiring. And it's dangerous. Dangerous work. Dangerous work. That's why they're always hiring. <laughs> That's why they're always hiring. That's right. How do I spell her name? L O R A N O A is her first name. And her last name is W Y N M Y A R. I didn't do it. It was warming up or cooling down. Metal creaks. Didn't even look up. <laughs> She actually kind of gives you a nod as she uh, enters, because she recognizes you. So, I'll give her just like the very slightest of... Mm. <laughs> uh, <yeah>. Discreet. <laughs> Discreet. <laughs> as like I reached like to like scratch this out of my nose, I suppose. Like... <laughs> yeah. Just right. again, trying to be as inconspicuous as possible. <laughs> like conspicuously inconspicuous. <laughs> uh, Give me a, roll me a d20 and add your strength. I, I don't think you have uh, performance I don't. or profession. Do you have smith tools as a tool proficiency? Uh, you probably do, if that's your background. So go ahead and roll it, add your strength and your proficiency bonus to the roll. Uh, 22. 22. That's nice. Okay. Uh, so you fix very easily. Uh, you you fix up Finn's sword uh, and sharpen it up. It takes almost takes less time than you thought it would, like normally. And um, Katruni is impressed. That you were able to do it in ample in uh, such a such a short time frame. So it's like this is nice work. If there okay. are any windows on that building, you can probably see that there's just this lumbering guy. So yes, yeah. 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 he just he, he has just, no idea what to do. Right, he he is standing outside, um, kind of looking around. Looking it up. takes you probably an hour, hour and a half to fix. Which puts it at about two o'clock in the afternoon, um, and he says, "Katruni uh, says you can take the rest of the day off. You don't want to. You awesome. Can. Yeah. What you do? So since I see Finn out here, then actually as I'm exiting, I see him. Um, oh, the venture is there." Convenient. I fixed your sword faster than I had anticipated. Cool. So I can have it back. Clunk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh. I'm really, a really sexy one walked in over that tavern. It's being all loud. <laughs> 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 she had all. I love your character. She had like, she had like snaky hair. Uh, but she was sexy. That's <laughs> so good. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> That's like a parchment know. bag can't fix. <laughs> <laughs> Do you drink ale? Oh, every day. Well, I, I don't every day, but uh, let's go see if she's still in there. <laughs> what do you say? I was had that way anyway. Okay. I wouldn't have seen her leave. That's I right. swear. <laughs> right. Now, now, you guys have time to look at the, the piece of paper before they come in if you want it. I'll take a look at it after I clean up my cards because at some point you stayed too long doing the same con yeah. and people are going to start either getting suspicious or want to be or you'll hit you. the same yeah. one twice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Once you hit one so person twice, after you... after I've collected my ten my ten white, I'm just going to pack up my cards and say that's all for today. No, sorry, wrong voice. <laughs> that was Ulfgar. Where did that come from? Last campaign. That 
That's going to be... It's, it, it, I understand it's going to take a little bit. That is all for today. I, I may be back tomorrow. I may not. I tend to go through towns very quickly. Is this guy German? Yes, he is. <laughs> He's so not Scottish. I don't know what the fuck happened there. <laughs> I'm going to go look at the paper. Okay. Uh, the paper is an advertisement, so to speak, um, <clears throat> for a, uh, a new... The Adventurers Guild is in search of a new group of adventurers to take care of a current problem in the nearby town of Isarod. I S A R O D. Huh? Lenny Cater. I've been there before. <clears throat> I've, been every, I've been everywhere. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> um, let's see. A different adventuring group was sent to investigate missing persons, and they have not returned. The pay for this is 500 white, and uh, the sort of mission, if you will, is to uh, it's two things, twofold, if you will, to find the other adventuring party. If they're alive, of course, to save them. If not, understood. Ollie? Hello. Uh, and, of course, to investigate the missing person. I'm not reading this, so I'm not writing this down. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to take notes, even though okay. my character won't know. <clears throat> I'm going to play it. I'm going stick, to <clears throat> stick to it. That's hey, Alex. entirely up to you. Hey, you might be again. I'm yeah, that's it. I know what I know. Take it. Thank you. Got a ton of stuff. Oh. Quetzal. All right, see ya. Pretzel. Have a good one. Bye. Bye, Ollie. Quetzal, uh, let's get a roll from you. Uh, <clears throat> intelligence and your proficiency. Uh, that's cocked. Damn it. Why do you have to roll so far? I don't know. <laughs> Just you roll on the paper. Do roll that. on the paper. There you go. 17. 17 Damn. total. Yeah. Nice. Okay. The plus 7,000. <laughs> that's like my yeah. charisma bonus. So, your cooking is going well. Uh, you have no. no issues. It's not overly complicated. It's actually, in your eyes, probably a little mundane cooking for a tavern, like yeah. tavern food. Yeah. But this tavern uh, is fucking bouncing because of how good it is. Like, you a 17 when you needed a 5. Your, your presentation is, is excellent. The food itself is good. Um, you managed to mix what little spices they have in ways that... Uh, no one thought possible. That, that, like, this is my favorite place to eat. Drastically <laughs> improve the food. Okay. Um... <clears throat> Here. Um, you eventually get to take a break, of course. Um, you're so busy just running after. Do you have, like, spells? I don't remember. Oh, we got, like, fly and feather fall and fairy fire. That's part of your race, right? No, your class. Yeah. Your no, class I don't get spells for class. Okay. No, I've got my. Uh, that's fine. It's That's more fine. like a. I was just curious. No I don't know what it is. I don't know what. I don't know how you describe them. <laughs> I make things. Yeah. Um, so you you were cooking for, like, after after the lunch rush is done, which is kind of what's happening right now. Um, you are given like an hour or two of a break. You can just kind of hang out in in the tavern if you want to. Yeah. Um, One couple ales. Mm-hmm. Um, you do, you, you do notice. I won't make your own perception for this, but you do notice that there is a new document up on the bulletin board that basically states what I talked about earlier. Okay. Um, anything you want to do? Uh, I'll go take a glimpse of the document, but at this point, I'm not interested. 
not what I'm trying to go for. Mm -hmm. I'll look at it and be like, okay, that's cool. You know, this would be good for some other adventurers to partake in. The pay is probably the most enticing. The pay's good. I like. I mean, I like yeah. money, but five hundred gold is a lot. Is that per person or just like split up between whoever finishes? Uh, the it. It says that it is uh, 500 white for the, the, the group, the party. Like it's that that's the payout for completing the adventure contract, if you will. Okay. I'll, I'll mm -hmm. sit back and have an ale and you know see what see what transpires. See who walks up to it. And... You probably make about five red. Per day. Yeah. I'm not in for the money. I'm not I, know, for the glory. I, I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying for like perspective. Okay. Purpose. That's fine. I'll uh, I'll sit back and have an ale and kind of <laughs> see who ventures over to the pamphlet and who looks interested and, and kind of get from there. Uh, there's a there is of course a, a bard in the tavern. Strumming Frank, away. Like, strumming away. Well, his naturally, there's gotta be a bard. Loot. <clears throat> Telling the, song, uh, the songs of the, the great heroes through time. Yeah, uh, he he does have a few songs about fate. Um, <laughs> some of them written by <coughs> Isaac Smith. Yes. The resurrected um, bard. Nightmare. Yeah. A couple nightmare songs. <laughs> nightmare. Dude, nightmare cover band. Nightmare oh, metal band that. That's stuff. Really good. Some tales have um, been um, exaggerated. Daryl, and inflated. One thing I did want to do mm -hmm. after Things reading the sign. Things have changed over the over the yeah. centuries. Yeah, did kill the. Did I put my hand shot. just casually I've down under my <laughs> coat? I've heard that where the, the blade is. That is going uh -huh. to uh -huh. just kind of mentally whisper to it. Is this something that we should investigate? Yes. Okay. Is everyone in the tavern? <laughs> <laughs> You're very taciturn today. I don't like it. Has everyone in the tavern heard about Imsh killing the Terrasque in one shot? That didn't happen! Imsh the Pussy Smasher? <laughs> huh? The Pushy uh, Smasher. The Pushy Smasher? <laughs> uh, killed the Terrasque in one hit. That one particular story <laughs> is embellished. A um, lot. I think after 102 years, it's like an army of Terrasques by this point. All right. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's, it's totally ridiculous. Uh, what did actually happen, by the way, is we were fighting a Terrasque. Tommy's character used the Fates card when he attacked. Like, he attacked, and then Tommy's Fates yeah. card, the next character in turn, like next initiative it disappeared. It just so, uh, gone. So naturally, I killed the Terrace. <laughs> and and he hit. was the Barbarian last time, just half work. Yeah. <laughs> he thought he it's, killed the Terrace. It, that was a great moment. Um, <clears throat> Kane, you are Keeping an eye on yeah. yep. Where is he? Is, is it, is it? He is, right now, he is behind the bar. Oops. I don't have any uh, rabbit folk mini, so he's the he's the okay. vampire dude behind the bar. Okay. The only other mini there. You said he's the one who owns, like he's in charge of the tower. He is the one that runs the tower. Okay. And he is your target. So he's my target. Because he's been taking the stuff and sending. Contract or just dead? Uh, he's been warned, so it's dead. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna be it. <laughs> um, it is currently. I would say it's currently about three or four in the afternoon. Okay. Um, um Finn and Krishna have been in the tavern. Uh, for a couple of hours, having is, ales. Is this my first time coming to the tavern? Because for me, if I were you've been here a l like quite a, a few times. Like contracts, I would probably be. Coming, oh, this like, is this is not your first time sitting in the tavern. Okay, yeah, I, so I've been oh, in here too. Yeah, we're simply to watch him. Let's say we're at a table there. in here. Yeah. So yeah, you you probably been scouting this place out for about a week. Okay, so I'm familiar with his habits, like his. You are like familiar his routine, with his habits, yeah. Type stuff. Okay, I wasn't sure if I was gonna need to roll for that or if I'm gonna Uh, you uh, like give me people. give me an investigation check just to see how much information you have. Okay, that is a seventeen. 
It's going to be a 13. 13. Okay, that's you're level one, so that's okay. <laughs> I'm not rolling great. I know, but 10, like, but don't yeah. don't forget, you know, DCs aren't crazy. Indeed, indeed. What? Marisha was freaking out. She's like, we're rolling like humans now. <laughs> <laughs> we're not gods anymore. Yeah. They were going from level 20 yeah, to the that's, fucking... That's, that's pretty wild. Level one. Level two. Level two. <laughs> um. yeah, she got really upset, I think, on the first or the second episode. A couple times. She rolled like four or five ones, but... Oh my gosh, this is so good. Uh, I'm really enjoying Critical Role. I'm loving it. Have you watched any Critical World, Will? So there's a Twitch channel called Geek and Sundry. Started by Will Wheaton and Felicia Day. That does uh, D&D every Thursday night. Done by a bunch of voice actors. Yeah. It's a really good campaign. I have enjoyed watching it. So uh, the first campaign has 115 episodes <laughs> that are about at least three hours long. Three or four three, hours three each. Three to five. Uh, yeah. And, and this one's the same. It's going to be three to five hour it's, long episodes. It's, it's rough quality at the very beginning. Oh, oh yeah. It's terrible. Like, it's, yeah. like, it's re- like, <laughs> they're it's all... Like, I tried to walk, like... They're like, also... It, it's real like, bad. Oh, this is painful. They're also bad at D&D at the first oh my part. It's, it's well, they're trying to switch over from Pathfinder. Well, also, and, no, two yeah. of them have played before. Yeah, Just the guy... Yeah, but they haven't played, played 5e. No, you know, but only two of them, aside from that, had played D&D at okay. all. Yes. You know that around 7 o'clock in the afternoon, Dak goes... He, he has a like a different individual come in and manage the tavern, mm-hmm. uh, and he goes back to his room in the inn to clean himself up, and then he comes back out for another couple of hours to, to drink a little bit, okay. and then goes to bed in. Uh, we'll say this far corner room. Okay. Right there. Like, uh, like on the very corner of the building? Yes. Okay. We'll say that that is his room. Is, it is the larger one anyway. So, yeah, that it makes, is. That makes sense. Yeah. That, that yeah. would be his. And so that is, uh, that is his sort of routine. Uh, so you have a couple of opportunities there. If you wanted to work something out there. Uh, whether or not you share this, I, I'm assuming you probably won't share this with anybody because you don't know anybody in here yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, do I have a room here? Not yet. Okay. You like just <coughs> came in there today. Is there anything else back there besides just rooms, or is that like just sleeping quarters back there? Uh, you mean as far as what, like storage? Like, like. <coughs> <clears throat> Would I be able to go back there for a re- like a reasonable excuse, or like if I'm going back there, would it look suspicious? Um, if you have a room rented, then it would not be suspicious. Okay. If I you would... did not, then You've... it would look suspicious. Yeah, because there's nothing. Um, nothing really back there, unless well, you bring like a, a lady. You know what I mean. Doing those things. Okay. A lady of the tavern. Of sexy badger stuff. Alright. <laughs> I've got a whole plan coming together. Okay. Um, do, you, do you want to hear that now or like later? Whenever well, let's see what everybody else is, is going to do. In the you don't really need to share it because none of us know what that um, plan would be. You can okay. share the plan. And then I mean, this will be for you yeah. and you guys can listen. listen Alright. Uh, Finn and Krishna. So, I guess we walk in and find an available table. By this point, hopefully. You've, you, you've been kind of sitting and drinking together for, for a little like bit. Maybe an hour and a half or so. Um, which is enough if you're consistently drinking to get pretty toasty. I don't uh, but it's drink a lot. But yeah, I mean, you just be sipping on it. Yeah. Just, just having it. And, um, anything you want to discuss? I don't know. You in town? Why are you in town? Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing other than proving myself. So you're okay. That's literally what I was told, and I left home. 
Oh, Prove right. yourself. And right, right, right. Finn was sort of sent away from home, just given the instruction of prove yourself. Because, well, they were, they had enough time, like, to explain, <laughs> this is out of character, to explain to everyone else, they had enough of dealing with this idiot who wasn't learning much in the sheltered life. Yeah, he's good at fighting. Yeah, he can kick ass, but he's an idiot. He just needs to go do some things. <laughs> you are a bull in a china shop, aren't you? No, not necessarily. He... He's level-headed. He doesn't want to punch drunk happy, but he just... He's too big for his own good. He's too that's strong for mean. his own good. That's what I mean with the bull in the shining shop. Just, like, okay. walk around. Bam! Oops! Well, no. That's the thing. Is he's not clumsy. Like He's, he's not just, clumsy. He's just huge. <laughs> yeah, he's just really big. He's really big and... Like, he has the dexterity of 14, and I'll boost that at some point. It's just... So you... We're the same dex. We'll be looking for ways to prove yourself. Yeah, like, I want to go kill shit. I As in I might have asked you uh, what the contract was, or what that uh, paper was about. Um, you mean, like, like okay. Well, and I just would have gleaned that, oh, Adventurer's Guild, that sounds cool. That would be a place where you could prove yourself. Yeah, so... For sure. I'll um, say that we, we should try and find some people to kick some ass. No can I? Place than this. Can I roll a perception to hear that? Yes. You no. I'll just go ahead and say you probably hear me because he talks I probably loud. Don't. I probably really don't. No, he talks loud though. <laughs> I rolled four. Oh my. Oh, also top. I have no bonus to perception. <laughs> this is the least perceptive character I've ever had. Um. Well, regardless. You, um, he talks loud. He talks loud. You would have picked it up with your passive perception. Which, which is ten. Is, ten! <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You would have definitely picked up on that. Um, Especially you're the type that would probably try to listen at least a little bit. Yeah. So, <coughs> Especially a guy like me. When you say that, um, the Ramian that's in this tavern, mm -hmm. the Ramians are... Almost dwarf like in their stature. They're like So they're little, short and stocky. They're little stocky, like he's 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 about as wide as you are. Yeah. But maybe two feet shorter. You know what I mean? Like he's much shorter. Yeah. But he is a very large individual. Probably has, um, probably has a little man complex. Do they have like and uh he's been human hands and goat feet? Does he look like a Satan? <laughs> a satyr. Uh okay. So I'm just, he has. I don't. I do, can't imagine question. him having hoof hands. No, no, they yeah. don't have hoof hands. It's not My Little Pony. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they can just uh, grab their drinks. Yeah. So he has regular hands. Yeah. He is furry. Yeah. Uh, and he has. He's a furry hooves. confirmed. He, he has hooves on his feet. On his feet. Okay. Hooves. So take a break. No. Oh. Uh, well, we we are. No, we time. we just hit out. Oh, cool. Yes. All right, we'll be right back, guys. We'll be right back. This is Blake and Tom.